right, let's see how well this uh, iPhone does recording basically in the dark. So, I wanted to show you guys something pretty cool. Let's get back in the plane. Just landed. And as you can see, it is dark. It's kind of cold too. You know, November, that stuff happens. But check this out. What I'll do is I will turn on this light and uh, you can see what happens. All right, here we go. Boom. I am not moving my head. Look at that. You can see everything. Okay, so this is a light that's attached to my head, um, but it's not your traditional headlamp. Also has the low setting. And if you wanna go disco, it's got that horrible setting, which I try not to use. All right, let's get back to the, well, let's go back to the high setting. Notice it's red light, so it doesn't mess with your eyes. I'll show you what this thing is. Let's go over here. I'll use my, uh... there we go. All right. Bada bing. Look at that. It's red LEDs. It's attached to a little battery. It takes three AAAs. And it's got a little switch right here. So you can turn on. That was high, and now it's. I guess medium or low, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's darker. And then crazy strobe light effect. But this thing's awesome because it wraps around almost your entire head. Well, maybe like three quarters. And uh, just brightens everything up and it's pretty wild. You saw in there that the whole uh, cockpit was lit up with this. It just gives a nice red glow. So when I was flying, I didn't have to, uh, you know, blind myself <laughs> or fiddle around with just a, uh, a spot. You know, if you use a, a, a light that's a spotlight, you know, one, whoop, one with one, uh, I probably broke it, one with uh, one beam, it's very directed. Oh, there we go. It's very directed. So if this was like a beam light, you'd have your dead spots, but... Uh, yeah, this one wraps around the whole head. It's the wide spectrum. But, uh, yeah, I've had many headlamps before, and I'm trying to find, you know, the best one. And with the single beam ones, the problem is, is that, you know, once you move your head around, you can't really see much other than what's the what the light's directed at. But with this, you can see the whole thing. You can see the whole cockpit with this bad boy. Uh, and it doesn't blind you. So, pretty awesome. But anyway, I'll uh, put the little description of where I got this uh, below. A little Amazon thing or whatnot. It's $12. But heck, might just get another one, throw it in the back seat. It runs on AAAs, so I don't have to fiddle with charging it or anything. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, stay safe, guys. See ya. All right, well, I got in the hangar and I kind of figured, hey, if I had another light, I could show you the difference here. Even though we're in here, and it's, uh, oh, there we go. Climbing back in. Let me turn this light off here, because I still have my, the other headlight on. All right. So, found this laying around. It's good light. Use it. It's got uh, both the regular LEDs there, and then the red and green. So, if you like green. Um only thing I don't like about this one is notice you have to turn it on white before it goes red or green. So it kind of, <clears throat> if you're using it for flying, it gives you that blindness. So you either close your eyes, which is probably not a good idea, or go through quickly. All right, so notice the other one. Oh, I still have it on. There we go. Notice with the other one, it illuminated the whole interior. But with this one... Notice you have your dead spots over here, over here, and then down there. So, you know, if you move your head, it illuminates that central area there, which is good. I mean, don't get me wrong, that's not bad, but uh, 
that's a little bit better, but notice you still have kind of dead spots over there. And then with this one, if I still have it, oh, there we go. It doesn't matter where I'm looking because the band wraps around my head, everything gets eliminated. And I'm just moving my phone, that's my shadow. <laughs> that's my hand, but that's my shadow down there. Um, but yeah, no matter where I move my head, everything's still illuminated basically the same. I'm moving it up and down, you get the idea. So, pretty cool.